Hey, what's up, guys? So, part two of this game. Um, we're actually, like, I, I got a lot farther. So, uh, I've been grinding, and I finally am able to um, get a gold card for the green crate. And I just wanted to, like, that's why I'm making two videos of this back-to-back, -back because I didn't think I was going to get it yet. Um, but I literally just sat here grinding and got all the cards to silver, and then I found out that it was way cheaper than I was even expecting it to be to get a gold card. So we we're going to be making our first gold card, and I sat here and I was like, what card should I make gold? And it was, it's a hard decision, but I, I don't think anything beats the hollow. So, so I'm going to be making the hollow um gold and now he won't disappear at restart which is phenomenal and i'm pretty sure we should be able to like our damage should be a lot higher now well also i kind of like messed a lot of other stuff up but that i thought was like a huge thing because honestly like i needed him in order to get past the one part that I was on. And now I can get past it. Ooh, I can even get that up. Look at that. So, um, but I kind of wanted to let you guys know something as well. Um, if you guys are, like, anyone who's playing this. And I want more people playing it because it's such an underrated game. And it is good. And I feel like a lot of people gave it a really bad rating. And I feel like the reason for that is, is because you lose your progression. If your phone, like, if your phone breaks or dies or anything happens to your phone, guess what? You get, your, your game is gone. There's no save. And that is terrible. It sucks. I hate that there's no save because I've already been this far before. I had all, like, I almost had a green uh, crate gold card and my phone broke. So I had to re-grind back up. But I like the game so much that I was willing to do it. Other people are not so willing <laughs> But if you guys are wanting to pick up this game, or if you already have, as I said in the first video, I suggest you getting the Chieftain as your first silver and gold card as you're grinding up. The first cards you want to get to silver in the blue area, once you kind of like are able to do it, the very first card you want to get to silver is the Bandit Fish. Reason being is because the Chieftain is going to be your main damage source. And yes, this Ice Sword is good, but it is not as good as the Gold Chieftain. The only time the Ice Sword is better is once you get it to gold. As you see, 55 billion. And he is 3.57 billion. So it is really not that much higher even at gold. And that is why we get the Bandit Fish, because at normal, it's only 442, and at silver, which let's just silver it right now just so we can see, it's 83.98k, which is a lot better than the start. And then it goes to 15.96 million, but that's also because of this girl. She um, empowers, empowers your fish. So plus 30% power to the fish cards, which is Bandit Fish, Shark, the Shark, and the Prepared. And then this one increases Ice Sword damage, which honestly, as I just explained, this is 30% power to the Ice Sword. So that's another reason why it's so much higher. So technically, that very first guy is actually like really OP. And that's why I suggest you getting him. And then the first gold card you want to get, again, Bandit Fish. Ice Sword is not like a go-to thing. The next, I would say Shark. And then I would go for the Ice Sword. And then go back and forth between those. Because those are the best ones in this area. Everything else is terrible. And then the first gold I would make in this whole section. Honestly, you could do this. But you need the damage. You have the Bandit Fish as the percent. So you really don't need him as the percent right now so i suggest hollow do the hollow and then the next one i'm going to be doing egg carrier which i'm hoping to do in the next run but i just wanted to make a quick update on this game and that's kind of like what i would suggest doing and when you're saving your gems last time i told you guys to buy something in here or um 
get one of the fireflies. Or you can get the 20% sphere. The sphere one's very important. The res, the, the leaves are easy. Don't do those. 20% um, chance to get a skull from a monster. You could do that one, but I would suggest not. Another thing that you can actually spend it on, and I kind of forgot about, was this. When you click on this shield, you have these things. And when you click on these little diamonds beside it, it costs 400, double the bonus of this artifact. So instead of it killing 13 monsters, it's going to kill 26. And then as you go down and you buy more of these crystals, it costs a crap ton. Like, I'm assuming the dude who made this game was expecting people to drop big dollars just to, like, grind his game. I don't think he was really looking too much at the actual way to earn these gems because you get three missions a day that give 10 gems it is not enough to grind to 6,000 crystals just to get this but as you see so the second one you could easily get to 800 it would take a couple of days obviously well almost like two months but double the bonus of this artifact again which makes it four times like it's pretty good um then this one three times the total and this is um, plus 40% to guild merchant and then 18% chance for purple sphere to restart and then green sphere. We're pretty close to this one, but mage guild bonus on restart. So honestly, like you could spend it on here if you were going to do any of them. I can't remember what these ones do. It guaranteed to restart. So if you had 800 crystals, you could easily just get the two of these. And then you know that your your, your spheres are going to restart instantly. You could do that if you wanted to. Um, but the best one I would say is the red star kills. Especially for grinding your damage up later on. I it, And it's 400, which isn't honestly that bad. It does take a while to get to. But if you keep doing all your missions a day. And they come back every 8 hours. So that means no matter what. You're guaranteed 3 missions every 24 hours. So. That is one thing that I'm saying. If you guys want to. And you guys are really wanting to grind this game. I suggest you do that. Um, and honestly like. This girl is one of the best for pushing even for, for coins or DPS, mainly because of this magic sphere buff. But there is one more thing that I wanted to show you guys because um, it is very important. I don't know why the game does that, but it does every time. Um, doesn't matter what guild you pick, just pick a guild. But this guy, always remember to do it. It boosts the power, as you see, it boosts the power to each guild. So right now I'm getting times 37 bonus to Warriors Guild and times 126 to the Merchant. I can actually level up the Merchant again and again and again. <laughs> I think that's it though. Now we're at 141 times. I don't. I can't level up the Warriors, I don't think, right? Because it said I couldn't. But yeah, so he is very important to get up. And another one that I suggest you getting up, honestly, is the very first girl. Because she, she is the easiest to level up. Like 645 experience because of the gold cards that I have. Um, when you're first running through, she is the best one to use. As I said, because you get this guy to gold right here, she boosts his damage by a lot. And basically, this hunter card, see, increases the hunter card DPS. I explained this in the very first video, but uh, I'm going to go over it again. Boost that up. It boosts him up. It will boost you through the game. Then if you want to farm gold, you can also do this and get this up a little bit and like kind of even them out so you can get max amount of gold. And you kind of want to try to push to a stage that has this frog. Because if you get up the, I think they're the parrots. Yeah, these guys right here. No, the cockatoos. If you get up the cockatoos, it gives you a guaranteed chance, basically, even at silver, to um, get this frog. And you get automatic 10 times coins, which means you're going to fly up in money. So I suggest you do it. It's smart. This is the best way to do it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if there's anything else, if you guys like 
want to figure out more to this game or like more tips and tricks um, I will be posting more as I go along and as I progress um, if there's anything you guys even want to know just uh, leave a comment down below but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe thank you I'll see you guys next time peace Thank you.